Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be doing Merch by Amazon update number 51. All right, so before I start things off, I wanna mention that I was recently on the Merch Lifestyle podcast, and they also did a video of the interview as well. It was with Shannon and Spencer, and I had a blast talking about Merch by Amazon. I was talking about Merch, Redbubble, Etsy slash Printful. Basically, I was talking about what I was doing, sharing some golden nuggets. I highly recommend you guys check out the interview. The links to the YouTube video and the podcast will be down in the description below. All right, so let's get into the update. Sales have gone down slightly, and I suspect that it's because, you know, the whole Father's Day and that whole thing created like a buzz and people were buying stuff, and then now that Father's Day is over, it kind of dropped down. And that's okay, things go up and down all the time. Pop sockets. So we just got approved to sell pop sockets. Now, me and the team, me, Arit, Maria, we were just kind of discussing and we were confused, as I mentioned in the last update, as to why Amazon released them. Because we were all thinking it would be like a summery type item, maybe like a tank top or maybe mugs. With it being around 9 to $10, obviously you can probably price them higher. The profits aren't really that huge and we're not really that excited about the actual product itself. None of us use it, none of us really like pop sockets. And from what I saw in the reviews when I was checking some out, they're not an overwhelming, like, great product. As I mentioned in the last video, I read a lot of reviews and I saw that, you know, they were damaging the phone cases, the sticker thing wasn't working properly because you're supposed to be able to remove it and then stick it on different places on your phone, but pretty much after you stuck it on and you tried to remove it, it would leave like a sticky residue or when people tried to take it off it like ruined their case sometimes people got their pop sockets delivered to them with the wrong design or the design actually popped off of the circular part so i just i saw too many bad reviews so we're gonna pass on pop sockets right now and we're gonna continue what we are normally doing with uploading t-shirts Another thing to mention is we got our first refund on our Etsy slash Printful integration. And it was really interesting because the lady emailed us calling us a fraud and um, she said that she ordered a size small in a particular shirt, but we decided to ship out any size we felt like it. That's what she said in the email. She was pretty mad to say the least. But when we went to go check her order, Arit noticed that she did actually order a medium. So that's why she received a medium. Sometimes you're gonna get crazy customers like this, but the important thing is to stay calm and cool and to just still give great customer service. So when we received this email, we could easily be mad and annoyed, but Arit responded back to her, you know, with a screenshot saying, you know, we're sorry for the mistake, but you actually did order a medium and here's the screenshot. After she received that email, she still denied that she ordered a medium instead of the small that she wanted. And she still demanded a refund. Now we got that second email from her and we're like, okay, fine, she wants a refund. Refunds are part of the name of the game here. You're going to have them, you're gonna to have to deal with them. So what we are going to do with refunds is we are just going to refund the money and then they can go ahead and keep the shirt. Now I, I learned this from Michael Essick one time when I was asking him about when Etsy and Printful was first starting out, how do you deal with refunds because he's all the way in the UK and he said that most of the time he will just, you know, refund their money and then they just keep the shirt and then that's that. You don't send them another shirt or anything like that. So that's what we decided to do. We decided to take the hit, take the loss on that one. You know, they're bound to happen. We gave her a refund. We were still very polite in the email, still giving her good customer service. And you know what? On that last email that we sent her saying that we refunded her and that, you know what, go ahead. Don't worry about the hassle. Just go ahead and keep the shirt on us. 
and she completely changed her personality. She was really nice. She actually said she really appreciated it. And most importantly, she didn't give us like a really bad review. She didn't review at all, but there was a really good potential to get a really bad review with it starting out with her emailing us, calling us a whole fraud. So even if you get like someone who's crazy and you know, they clearly she ordered a medium, but you know, she said she ordered a small, you still want to give the customer service. If they are still wanting their refund, then you know, give them the refund and just still give them a good experience so that you know you can avoid getting the one star or whatever bad review that they can do on Etsy. So I am still going through my listings, removing that text uh, for a looser fit, order a size up, still going through that one by one. I try and do like a couple pages per day and it is quite tedious and annoying but it needs to be done so I'm still doing that. We've also started running ads on Etsy. So the Etsy platform is really cool in that they have a marketing area where you can run Etsy promoted ads and Google shopping ads. So ads that are on the Etsy promoted ads, they're gonna be promoted within Etsy. And for the Google shopping, those ads are gonna show up in the Google search. So right now we've been trying out about five dollars a day budget on each of those platforms so in total it's ten dollars and it's really cool because etsy allows you to turn on these ads in a really simple format so right now the ads have been running for a couple of days now and what we're going to do after a week is take a look at the data and you know see what shirts are getting most searched if they led to any sales and then put more money towards those designs and then we're going to turn off the ads on the shirts that aren't really getting any searches at all so i'll keep you guys posted on that strategy haven't really done any paid marketing in a while so i'm curious to see how this goes and finally, we've been getting a bunch of questions on what we are doing with print on demand. So with Merch by Amazon or Etsy slash Printful, we get a lot of private messages and emails. So Arit and I have decided that we are going to be offering one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you are interested in that, please email us. Our email will be down in the description below and you guys can email us to find more information. Alright guys, well that was it for this update. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.